so we need to inject some comments into application right so let me introduce you to this course if you don't already know what that is this is a commenting platform so it's like when you want to comment you just have to log in with maybe your facebook or your twitter account or something like that so you don't have to register a new account every time you want to log in so you can log in on any website that supports this course and this is what we're going to be using in application so that it's simple and pretty easy for our users to log in and we can manage comments very easily so let's get started so you need to get an account and once you get an account click on the get started button and say i want to install this course on my website and it's going to take you to this page and right here we can just say the name of our site is lavo blog and uh, we're going to say select a category and uh, we're just going to go with tech and create site so the site is created and we're redirected here let's get started and we're gonna choose this option right here so i don't see my platform listed install manually with universal code so we're gonna get this code and this is what we're gonna use to install this course so the instructions place the following code you where you'd like to load this course and recommend that edit the this 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 okay so how to display comment counts we're not gonna need that Okay, so let's just copy this post, post and we're gonna paste it where we want this course to appear. Okay, so we're back into our project and where we have comments right here, we're gonna be injecting this course. Okay, so right here, we're gonna be injecting this course. Let's just create an include for that. So we'll say include, includes dot discuss. So that's gonna be for our comments. So let me go ahead and create that view right now. So right here in our includes directory, we'll have a new view and we'll call it discuss.blade.php. And I'll just paste that in. Okay, so what do we have right here? We have this and then we have some script tags and they say recommended configuration variables, edit and uncomment the section below to insert dynamic values from your platform or CMS. Okay, so we need to uncomment this. So we'll uncomment right here and we'll say discuss config this page URL, replace page URL with the pages canonical URL variable. So what we're going to have here is actually an echo and we're just going to echo out the routes page right here. So we'll say this is post.single and this is going to be the slug of the current post. And right here, our identifier is going to be the slug. So we're going to just say post right here and we we'll echo out the slug so we'll just say post right here then slug okay and this is just so that we can have unique data so we don't want the comments on one post to be the same as the comments on another post so we're gonna have this okay so now that everything is set up let's just save and we would refresh and uh, let's check out our view page source to see if that is actually loaded Okay, so for some reason we can't see that. And I think I know why. Right here, obviously these are strings, so we're supposed to wrap them in quotes. Okay, so let's also wrap the URL in quotes right here. Sorry about that. So let's refresh. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we should see this course comments right there. Okay, so we have this course comments right there automatically generated for us. So if I click right here, you see Lava blog and when any user comments, we'll be able to see the comments right here. So I can comment right here, maybe word and awesome post and I can post as catchy friends and that's the post automatically. I can upload an image right there and post as me and that's the image, bam. So things are looking good. So right now we have our comments. So right here for our all tags, all block tags, we're just gonna echo out all the block tags in our application, okay? So I'll remove this, we don't need that. And all block tags is gonna be here. I'll just put some break tags so that it can be a little bit away from our discuss comments. And right here, rather than having all of these, I'm just gonna loop through one of them and echo out something. So I'll cut this out and I'll save for each tags as tag and for each i'll just say paste this in and this should be tag 
tag right here and we need to obviously pass this tag data from our controller so we'd say pass in all the tags also so we'd say with tags variable and this is going to be tag all so if i refresh right there we should have just one um class app tag not found so we should use that use app tag so let's refresh that and everything seems to be working correctly so right here we have our comments everything set up and we have just one tag if i go to the next post since discuss is actually identifying with our secret slug right here if i go to the next post we should have a new stream of comments okay so this is a blank comment and if i post it's not associated with the others okay so everything seems to be working right here perfectly so thank you so much and see you in the next video